Hello, good evening. <laughs> Master OPF <laughs> is back. Tai Chi, Qigong, exercise. <laughs> Do it, my friend. Okay, I'm back, man. Actually, um, today I went to, <laughs> I took my camera to the hill where there's a lot of nice trees and plants. I set it up on a nice table and I wanted to make a, a video of me doing an exercise, you know, uh, Tai Chi Chi Kong type of exercise so I can give you a better idea of uh, how, you know, it is because I felt the last time I gave you an exhibition it wasn't so our presentation was, wasn't that good, you know, I didn't, I was not satisfied with it, so uh, I was hoping to, you know, set up here tonight and see if, because today it didn't work on the hill, the rain ran, ran me away, so I'm here now, I'm gonna try and uh, help you to uh, uh, understand a little bit, uh, you know, why I am uh, so much into this, you know. I'm. I was diagnosed many years ago with uh, what you call uh, anemic. You know, uh, I'm anemic, which means I have low blood white cells, and so I have to do anything. And the doctor told me at the time there's no uh, no cure. There's nothing to elevate. I mean, the physician told me that, you know. So. <laughs> He cannot give me anything to make my white blood cells go up. So what I did, I went to Google and I tried to look for all type of things, whether it's exercise or anything, to try and uh, find a solution for my problem. Because the doctor said he couldn't help me. <laughs> so uh, I did and uh, this is the results. And, uh, I'm telling you, since I got uh, involved with the uh, Qigong and Chai, Tai Chi Qigong art, uh, it's, uh, it's helping me, I, at least I believe, you know, and I can feel the difference since I'm doing this. So, before I end up taking such a long time with this presentation again, let me just give you an uh, explanation of something. Okay, uh, the exercise I'm going to do is pretty basic. It's called um, uh, Qigong, um, stem cell Qigong. Uh, let's see if you can see here. You see, this is uh, what how I was back is set up here. Uh, this is your uh, sacrum. Your sacrum is right here, and then you have your lumbar. And then you have your uh, the, uh, cervical uh, vertebra is up here, and then you have like a upper and lower uh, thoracic, thoracic, yeah, that's what they call it, I believe. <laughs> and uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is uh, try to give you explanation uh, how uh, the exercise works for me with uh, the problem that I. Uh, have or had because uh, it's not bothering me anymore. I'm feeling super great. So let's jump into it. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Chicken. Okay, this is uh, what they call your, I just showed you your sacrum right here. It's like your waist area, but it's in the center. And the bone that goes from vertical right down to your thorax to your center sacrum is uh, that main where your spine is. That main area is what we want to work on. And uh, let me explain what it does. Actually, your, uh, your sacrum 
is very important to your whole body. The frame, your lumbar and everything. If I had a problem, I wouldn't be able to do all this. You know, I wouldn't be able to move. You wouldn't be able to do any type of uh, flexible uh, exercises. And, uh, and it has a lot to do with our cells, the stem cell that's, uh, that, that is in us. Uh, the, uh, so if you have infections or anything like that, uh, this will help you. This exercise will help you because it will activate by just the simple rubbing, doing this, rubbing and tapping the sacrum, rubbing and tapping the sacrum, you can take a bamboo stick, it's better to, you know, that you can knock it with, but if you don't have it, use your, your, your fist and you tap it like this. Do this every morning. Rub my sacrum to activate it. What that does is the um, by tapping and rubbing my sacrum, it activates the uh, the bone marrow. It acts both the bone and the bone marrow. And uh, the bone in the bone marrow uh, makes produces the the white and red blood cells uh, and the stem cell. So let's go back here. The um, the bone marrow and the bones, right, is what actually produces right the white and red blood cells. Okay, you got that. So. When you do this, when you activate, activate them. Activate your sacrum. It activates the bone and the bone marrow to produce the white and red blood cells. Okay, so that's one of the uh, first uh, number one um, exhibition there. Let me go into the um, the other part of it, which is the uh, the dance part, we call it a dance part, but it's like uh, more to do with your lumbar. You gonna put your hand back right here, and you stand up like this, and you move, make a dancing move like this. See, to the side one side to the next, one side to the next. You're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel your whole uh, sacrum moving, the waist area, you're gonna feel it. And that's why it's such a good exercise with people who walk up like that, <laughs> because it's, uh, it helps, it's, it's a good exercise for your bone marrow and your bones and your, uh, your whole lumbar. Which is our main, uh, you know, stature for your, your 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 body. Without your lumbar, without your spine, you're nothing, man. So you do this left to right. Tap it, rub it. Okay. So next exercise is we're gonna get into the. Uh, the lumbar now, we're going to try to do something for the lumbar. So the lumbar, I explained you, is that long bone comes right down to your sacrum. And uh, you got to work to, to uh, stimulate that. Uh, there's exercise. There's exercise for everything. So I wish I could show you my feet, but you stand up like this, straight up. Go back a little bit. Straight up like this. You turn. Don't turn your hip, just turn your feet. You can turn your left or your right feet. I'm gonna go left first. 
keep one one feet planted, one feet right foot planted like this. Turn your left feet. Take your hands, put it above your head like this. And then turn slowly. And you go right down over your knee. Right down to your toes. You're going to feel the bones cracking. But this is going to do wonders for your spine. So come to your blessings. You're going to go up. Go up, go up, go up to the top. Do take a deep breath when you're doing this. Bring your, your left foot back in again. Stick your tongue out. Stretch as much as you can from your toes. Try to stand on your toes and stretch. Do this on your left about three to four times and then you plant your left foot you're going on the right side now you do the same motion on the left side on the right side do the same thing you go up come down take a deep breath come down slowly touch your toes swing around Come back to the center, go up on your toes, stretch as much as you can, stick your tongue out. Relax, relax, relax. Do that about three, four times. I can feel it, man. I just did it. <laughs> just do it for twice and can feel the difference, you know, I can feel like my whole, you know, that's why I do it slowly because uh, this has to do with your back, you don't want to ring anything, so, you know, <laughs> that's why I wish I could sh have shown you uh, the position to stand, you know, uh, you can't see my feet, my toes, so you, you, wouldn't, you can't see how, what I'm doing exactly, but, uh, that's why today I wanted to show you the whole the whole thing. Anyway, that's uh, part of the uh, uh, first part of the exercise that I wanted to show you, which is very important, not only for people that is anemic or have a, a problem or anything, but it, it, it's it's a, it's for your health. It, 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 anything that uh, helps stimulates the the growth of your uh, red and white blood cells because remember your red blood cells produces oxygen you need oxygen to live to breathe <laughs> okay so that's why it's so important that you activate all these mechanisms to produce to stimulate the uh, the, the the cells then so that they can uh, defense, defend you because it, your body is like a balance. You have the white blood cells and you have the red one. So it's a balance, right? You try, you have, it have to be balanced. Uh, if you have too much red, it's not too good. Too much white, it's not too good. Uh, too less or uh, vice versa. So it, it, it's a balance. And if you can, if you can have uh, uh, activate your bone and your bone marrow uh, that will in turn uh, activate uh, stimulate your cells produce your cells to uh, to be strong and healthy and uh, because remember like I said your white what blood cells is your defense and the red ones is those that produces the oxygen for you to live so you need both you know you can't live without one you, you need both to, to live a lot of people wondering well how they die well start by researching this and you <laughs> i did i'm so happy i did because i understand the medical theory uh, how your body works uh, pretty good by now 
and uh, it, it's done wonders for me. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show you something they call uh, bleeding your um, your kidney, bleeding your kidney. Now you take your hand, you put it back. You take up or uh, right here. This area. Take that. And you take a stand up like this. Make it back a little further so you can see better. And then you take a deep breath. Lean forward. Turn your hands around, tap. Do that about five, six times, seven times. Why? That's the question. Okay, what happens is this, your kidneys are here, all right? This is where you're tapping. You're tapping your kidneys. You're bleeding them. You're tapping your kidneys. Your kidneys is the one that stimulates your white and your red blood cells, okay? So by activating your kidneys, your kidneys will in turn stimulate your red and your white blood cells. And your red blood cells is what you need because the white one, your white and your red is what you need. You need both of them equally. One to produce your defense, they are your soldiers. And the red one is to produce the oxygen that you need to respirate, to respirate. So this exercise is the one that really uh, works for me. This is, you know, with my condition, uh, I can't say I still have it because I'm feeling so good. I, I, I feel that I'm, I'm okay, you know? And, um, but I believe that uh, truly that this really helped me to um, to be able to uh, do the things and uh, that I'm doing and uh, feeling the way I'm feeling and uh, yeah so that's just a part of Tai Chi of Qigong that uh, works for your body and uh, let me explain you a little bit I, I don't like uh, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Okay, Tai Chi, it has to do with more like uh, martial arts, you know, fast movement, <laughs> like this. Uh, you notice I've been practicing, right, because I can do some moves. And then, uh, the, but Qigong has to do with more with your wellness, you know, and your health. You know, your health and wellness. And that's why Qigong is so the one that... Uh, I embrace more because it has to do with my health and my well-being. My well-being is, you know, how I'm doing, you know, in general, general health. So I hope I've been, let's see if this is going to quit. Oh boy, I think 15 minutes gone already. Anyway, uh, there's another exercise that you can use is very good and that's for to stimulate your spleen because it has a spinal uh, stimulation. This is the one I think I showed you the last time, but let me do it again. You bend your, bend your knees a little bit. And it's very important to position, to, when you're doing this exercise, to stand in the right way, you know. Uh, you have to uh, sometimes stand with your, your two knees bent a little bit. And you stick out your backbone like this, your hip bone, and uh, that's a good posture, a good way to stand up. And then you could take this. Now I'm going to show you. Just want to stimulate your spine. 
you go like this you want to go all the way back take a deep breath Go all the way down, go all the way down. Bend your knees a little bit. You can touch the ground. Come all the way up. When you go all the way back like this, squeeze your backside. Tight. Come all the way up again. All the way down, release it. <laughs> Stimulate your spine. Okay. So that's it pretty much, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, different exercises you can do for your body that really works wonders. Uh, uh, there's one that's called uh, activating the pump. Uh, it's uh, the Chinese <laughs> and the Asian people believe that uh, uh, the human body has about nine pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. <laughs> Uh, so in the, you can also stimulate the pumps, you know, that's why people when they sit too much is bad, you know, <laughs> sitting is a bad, if you sit too much all day it's bad, you know, because you, you, that pump isn't working, once you're sitting on the pump, <laughs> you're sitting on a pump, so once you're moving the pump's working, but if you're not moving, you're sitting, you're, you're sitting on a pump, and one of the pumps is the one regular, Take your finger, stick your, you're going to find a hole. <laughs> stick your finger up in a hole. But take a breath, like pump, you're going to go. Take your hands, put it like this. That's not a pump, you go like this. part of your stomach. If you have any uh, ulcers or anything, <laughs> you're going to feel this. Remember when you go to the doctor, right? What he does, he puts you to lay down and he takes his thing, his hand and he go like, and he asks you to breathe, like to do this. <sighs> and he pushes his hand on you like this. I don't know if you remember, but I, the doctor did this to me a lot of times. And he pushes in. And, and if there's, if you have a, a, a ulcer or something, a pain or, or, or even a, what you call the, um, uh, um, a sickness or inside or whatever, inside is gonna, he's gonna feel it. It's gonna, you're gonna feel it, and then you're gonna say ah when he when he push you like this, and so you keep. Uh, activating this, doing this is it helps activate the pump because it's the, the, the Chinese <laughs> those people think that they, your body has nine pumps so you have to to activate them you know and so you know when you get after you do this you take your hands you go like that. That's why even doing this, tapping, breathing, that's good for your respiration system. You know, when you go like, hold your breath for 20 something seconds, respiration. That's a good exercise for your lungs. 
perfect for your lungs. You know, uh, if you're not doing that, do it. You know, it's very important. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I, there's so much more I know that I can show you, but the time, I have to go with the time because uh, the video then will be too long and then uh, I have to cut it anyhow. So, thanks for watching. Okay. Next time. Bye.